So the tumour is eating away his entire forearm here, the radius, and it's fractured into the joint of the wrist, so he's extremely painful right now. He can hardly walk. In fact, he can't really walk on that leg at all. And he's a 68 kilogram dog, so he may have difficulty walking on three legs. I think he would cope. He would be better off on three legs than on four right now. And certainly I'm not averse to full limb amputation. I think there are situations where if you chop off one leg, dogs and cats will be fine. There's certainly situations where that is the case. So I'm not saying that dogs and cats shouldn't be on three legs, but I do think there are situations where they're better off on four legs. And this is one of those situations because osteoarthritis in other legs is a problem for a dog this size. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop the tumour out and replace it with metal. This is a custom made piece of metal designed off of a CT scan. So we did a CT scan of his leg and then we made a piece of metal that's going to replace everything between here and here. All of that's going to be metal. We're going to keep the blood and the nerve supply to his foot and so he'll still walk on his foot but everything in between will be metal surrounded by skin. So I guess that is the definition of bionic, isn't it? Metal with tissue around it, um, working like a normal bone. So the difference between this and anything that's been done before is that this particular implant, which is called an endoprosthesis, prosthesis, is designed uh, specifically for this patient. So it's, it fits him like a glove it would fit your hand. Every patient's different size. Every hand is a different size. He has an extra large implant which is custom designed for him. The second big departure in this realm of endoprosthesis development is that um, the metal is coated at its ends with a honeycomb mesh called hydroxyapatite. So there's a green powder mesh here and here like a honeycomb and the bone will literally grow into that mesh and uh, that's excellent because that allows the implant to become uh, an actual part of the dog's body. The third thing that's unique about this implant is that it's attached to every bone, it's attached to all the bones here and both bones here and um, that means it's very very strong so it's custom built the bone grows into it and it's very strong it should and will last him for the rest of his life and the problem is that the ethical and moral dilemma is do you put a dog through this surgery or do you put a dog to sleep well i mean that's a very difficult question and everybody will feel differently about that question and that's up to them you know it's their dog I will simply give them the options and if we've done a CT scan of the chest and so far the tumor isn't evident in the chest we can save the leg until the dog will die of metastases that spread of the tumor so Baron will die eventually from metastatic disease which is spread of the tumor away from the site in the leg towards the lungs eventually he will die. We don't know how long he'll live. The median survival time for osteosarcoma is about 11 months. But if an owner wants to have a dog alive for 11 months, and we can give that dog functional pain-free quality of life for those 11 months, and the dog is walking pretty good on this endoprosthesis within a few days of surgery, then I don't see that much difference between this and a total hip replacement, for example. The argument seems to be that people are worried about the survival time of the dog, but I don't think that you have the right to take away that choice from an animal owner or an animal guardian that may love their dog so much that they want another year of life. As long as they're realistic and they understand that it could be months, it could be longer. I have one dog out past two years at the moment, but I think the bottom line is, in my opinion, we do not have the right to remove choice. Now the choice is available, as long as it's morally and ethically right. It needs to be in the interest of that individual patient.